Every now and then I like to throw in a campaign in the Balkans, one of my favorite regions to play in. And today I will be playing Serbia, this nation has been requested quite a few times and I still don't have the Lazarus achievement for which we need to own all core provinces in the Balkans region. So this is what I'm going for today. And some might say that Serbia starts in a difficult position because we're right next to Hungary and the Ottomans, we need provinces from both of them. But it's not as difficult as it seems. Serbia has a super good gold mine in Kosovo that will fund our early part of the campaign. And the ideas are not bad at all. Manpower recovery speed, reinforce speed, national unrest reduction, we have cavalry boosts, down the line even 10% morale of armies and 10% infantry combat ability. So with that being said, let's go ahead and begin this campaign. Alright, so first of all, let's take a look into our court. As you can see, we have this 2-1-1. No, I think my eyes are deceiving me. We don't have an ear, that's right. This guy is 67 years old with some really good traits, plus Diplo Rep and Advisor cost reduction. So I really hope that we will get a decent ear by the time he passes, so we don't have to deal with his consort. But even if it happens, uh, she actually got a strict trait, which is not too bad. We could definitely use that, so I think it's decent what we have here. Serbia has a pretty big mission tree and there are different ways on how you can maneuver it. The last time I played it, I was going for the law of Pius Emperor first, for which we need to sell titles to get 60 loyalty and then we can get plus 1 stability and 20 prestige. But in this round I want to try a different path for which we need to own 40% of crownlands, so I will be rushing this to get permaclaims on Macedonia, Albania areas. And this path leads to even more permaclaims in the Balkans region, which we can definitely use. So let's go to estates, summon the diet. Yeah, we can do this, uh, have number of allies too, to get plus one diplomat reputation, sounds good. I will be granting religious diplomats to patriarchs, to nobility, let's go with nobility officer rights. And for burgers, indebted to the burger loans, let's restore some of the prestige with patronage of the arts. And for now, this is gonna be it. Later on, we can take more privileges. Now, right off, we want to start improving relations with Hungary. We will need an alliance with them and 100 relations. So let's go ahead and do this. I think I will even move my merchant from Constantinople to Pest. There we go. We can actually go ahead and establish communities once he's here. Regarding claims, we don't have any at the start. We have cores on Hungary, Venice and Ottomans, but we will not be using them early. So instead, I will go ahead and start building a claim on Bosnia. Get this general through our decisions and he's not really good, but oh well. I will also get more units, the free company. And of course, let's go ahead and get some advisors. So yearly inflation sounds good. Then we can go for... I would I would have loved to have a diplomatic reputation advisor here, but since I don't, I think I will go for trade efficiency just because having yearly inflation and trade efficiency can give you radical reforms event. And for military, we can definitely go with discipline. Now, this fort in Smedervo, we can go ahead and delete it. We don't need it. Later on, we can get a free fort here in Belgrade, which is a level 2 fort, and we can even make it level 3. And as far as for rivals, I will select Bosnia, Herzegovina and Wallachia. I am avoiding Albania because they are guaranteed by Venice, so it's a bit too difficult for us to deal with them. Now since we recruited more units, we can complete Moravian arms. We're gonna get national manpower modifier and manpower recovery 10% for 10 years. And on the 11th of December, I will be starting the first war, which is gonna be Herzegovina. Usually they don't have any alliances, yeah, like in my case. So we can just go for this humiliate rival CB war get 100 monarch points from them, some power projection, and even unlock Age of Discovery bonus. So let's go ahead and beat these guys up. And also the thing with Herzegovina is that after we beat them, they have no units and the enemies around them should be more inclined to declare on them. For example, Bosnia, they do own cores on them. So if Bosnia decides to declare and take these two provinces, then once we declare on Bosnia, we can take these whole lands for ourselves at once. And basically it's a win-win situation, we're also taking some other rewards. And looks like we're guaranteed by the Ottomans, well, I guess thank you. So actually since I have this agenda, I think I will be looking for two allies if I'm unable to ally Hungary on its own. Then we can have plus one diplomatic reputation and it basically will serve as a diplo rep advisor, which is pretty good. So who could be potentially ally? I mean, there's a, a lot of these small guys that we could ally. Bologna, we could go for someone like Moldavia, perhaps, if they don't get under Hungary or Poland through an event. I will also go ahead and boost my stability now. So we have plus one stability, passive prosperity. 
And it seems that Poland has decided to stay alone without the Persian Union with Lithuania. So they got this amazing ruler now. Right, the war is done. So I am going for show strength as I said. There we go, all the amazing bonuses. We can already get this royal marriage. And, and the alliance, okay? So we don't need to ally these smaller guys. That is absolutely perfect. And we also have 100 relations, which means we can complete Despot Stefan's legacy. This will give us the province of Belgrade for free. We have this amazing fort in the hills. We can also click the decision to move capital to Belgrade for 50 admin points. Get two more development in there and it's now a level 3 fort. So this is why I deleted this woods fort. And there is more to this. Fortress of Belgrade is also completed, which gives us additional 25 local defensiveness in this province and 100 mil points. So we're on a really good pace to getting to level 4 military technology because we got 100 points from this event and also 100 from Herzegovina. And at this point I think what I will do is... Oh, yeah, I was about to say I will wait for Bosnia to declare and then go after them. It seems like they already have declared. But the problem is that Ragusa did as well. So it's unlikely that Bosnia... Yeah, so Ragusa is gonna get this province. I guess we're gonna get a home as well, which is not too bad. Yeah, so I'll wait for him to get this province and then I will declare too. We got an heir. He's not very good, but yeah, he's a bit better than what we had previously. And of course, since he's zero years old, we will still have to deal with the consort. But as I said, strict trade, it's gonna help us. You know, it would be nice to be lucky for once, but it seems that it's just impossible. I'm just losing stability left and right. I mean, it's some BS. And there we go. This war is done, right? So we are going after Bosnia now. Let's declare they only have Silly. This will enrage Hungary. But what can you do? Perhaps we will find some better alliances afterwards. I really want to have these provinces just to get stronger in general. I think having what we currently have is just not enough to beat the Ottomans. We would have to get like crazy amount of loans to do any damage. So yeah, I will still be going after this even though Hungary will not like it. It's hills. Don't care. Let's catch this guy. Take some of the steel. And there we go. He should be done here. Look at that. Hungary is positioning his troops over here. He's about to declare as well. So I will make sure to conquer all of these provinces before he comes in. He did. Yep. You know what I am considering? I'm thinking of vassalizing Bosnia. So we could actually get into one versus one war versus Hungary and expand into their lands instead. I am considering this because we are very close to level 4 military and they will stay level 3 for quite some time. So we will have an edge here even if we have less soldiers. And really we have everything we needed from Hungary. We got this province for free. There is nothing more to this alliance in the mission tree. There we go, finally something good. We are getting radical reforms. So y'all guys gotta leave. 200 of each points, I really appreciate that. We can invite them back now. And yeah, I will get an additional mercenary company. I'm thinking maybe Levans, they have 5 shock. This 2 siege general would also be pretty good. But yeah, let's go for 5 shock. And afterwards I will be vassalizing Bosnia then. So there we go, we can take 39 ducats, force religion on them and vassalize them. This will also boost our relations. There we go. So now we are at war with Hungary and Croatia. I will be avoiding them for a few more months until I can take level 4. And it's time to go. It's time to go, my boys. They're dead. They are absolutely owned. This dude is running away, so we should be good here. We could potentially wipe this 13,000 if he doesn't run away. Oh god. Do we still go after him? I think he will reinforce. This guy has no leader. This guy has 4 shock. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, they even annex silly. Oh my god. I didn't expect this. They usually survive for a bit longer. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? We have full state here, so I'm gonna consecrate Metropolitan. This way we are getting additional 5 paycheck authority. And then we can go into Patriarchs, get Institutionalized Patriarchs, click this to get 5 more, then we can go of course to our Religion and take our first icon, it's gonna be additional 5 Discipline. This allows us to complete the mission Reform the Noma Cannon, and I think I'm gonna take it and start converting Bosnia's provinces. Yeah, let's do it. There we go, let's send them here. 
And now we can probably pounce on him. Let's see. Okay, he's wiped. Oh, yes. That's insane. That is quite insane. Okay, the Ottomans have revoked guarantee on me, but they also declared on Byzantium. So this buys us a little bit more time. I need to finish this work quickly, get some alliances, so just to make sure the Ottomans don't destroy me. Alright, now Renaissance is available, so this means I will start developing Kosovo a little bit to get more money. And this way we can also get some progress towards Renaissance. Bump it up a little bit, here we go. One more mill. Yeah, so our leader has died, but we do have this discipline trait. Which is okay, just need to restore stability. I think we get this fort and we can finish the war. He is absolutely wrecked, 6000 soldiers left, Croatia has none. You gotta be joking. Like, come on, what is going on, bro? The game doesn't want me to have any stability. I think I have to go for reform progress growth. Oh, they finished the war with Byzantium. Come on, boys, get it this stick. Yes, we got it. 83%, I'm happy. So this is what I'm gonna take from Hungary. I am taking their gold mine, their capital, which has a super good monument. One province from which I will release a new vassal, a lot of cash, the maximum that I can take with this peace deal, and war reparations. There is no coalition, it's 37 aggressive expansion, so we're absolutely good here. So now let's go to diplomacy, release Transylvania. We could also release Nitra, but I am inclined to keep the gold mine perhaps. Or you know what, let's release it. Let's release it as well, so we have two vessels, which we can use to basically eat up whole Hungary the next war. And we will reintegrate the gold mine. I think we are fine, because we still have to develop Kosovo, so it's not like we would be able to develop the second gold mine at the same time. Yeah, screw it. Let, let's do it, man. So now let's go to nobility. We will be taking strong duchies. I will also be completing this agenda first. So we just need to ally Theodoro, maybe someone else. Let's see, improve relations with this guy and improve with Caraman quickly. And I will also insult one of Caraman's rivals, maybe like Cyprus. New rival, Hungary. I think we can select the Ottomans now and Venice. Oh, we're so close to the alliance with Poland. Okay, I do want to have this. Screw that, Hungary. You're getting another insult. And I am allying Poland. Now this means I have completed the agenda for one Diplo reputation. And we can summon the Diet so we have decent loyalty. We're only gonna get a little bit of rebels from burgers. Now there is a problem. Our crownlands have decreased. We will need to develop one province six times I believe. Yeah so screw it. Let's do this. And once we have some Diplo points we will just develop the gold mine. And we will have 40% crownlands. We can also now repay our older loans. We don't need those. This is good. Ottomans are fighting Albania and Venice. So this should make them weaker. Maybe we can snipe them down a little bit afterwards. Or even during the war if we want to help out Venice a little bit. Okay, here we go. Last development. And we have 40% crownlands now. Which allows us to complete the mission Tame the Magnets. Now, after we completed that mission, we can go ahead and grant plus one monthly points to the estates that we want to grant it to. So I will be granting all three of those. Consecrate Metropolitan here. Due to us having so many vessels, our force limit has increased to 19. So I'm getting more soldiers. And we can possibly wait until we finish this course, reduce autonomy and get even more force limits. So we're gonna be super ready for the war. Hey, let's go, plus stability. These events, after all, do exist. Um, not gonna even talk about this. I'm just not gonna talk about it. So look at that, after reducing autonomy we have 21 force limit and I'm even gonna go above it. I'm gonna recruit more soldiers. We're about to have 10 favors with Poland as well and they are suffering. Oh, they're suffering. They have no more manpower. So let's grab this general to 50 tradition. Let's see. Finally, he's good. He's good. Yup, so I'm not gonna allow him to finish the siege. Albania grant me access. That's it. We're declaring on the Ottomans, calling in Poland, and let's go for a regular conquest. We have reconquest CB, but only for two provinces. We do plan to take a lot more, so all the extra provinces would cost a lot of Diplo points, which I'm trying to avoid. Don't really care about the aggressive expansion with them. They are a Sunni nation. It's not gonna really matter. No one will care that we take these provinces here, and you're going down, Ottomanskis. So yes, I'm initiating here. 
in Albania's lands. We're gonna wipe these guys. And you know what? I should have done this before the battle. Yeah, let's take additional 5% morale of armies. And I don't know where this dude's army is. He has still 29,000. I do want to get some of these provinces. What do we actually need here? Retake Macedonia. We need these five provinces. Okay, so I'm going to try to occupy them first before Venice or someone else does. So we can just have a very, very nice peace deal here. The question of rights. Uh, I don't really want to take this province away from Bosnia. That would hurt our relations quite a lot. I'm fine with losing 10 prestige. Oh, he's here. Okay. This could be big. You go Poland. We'll take care of these guys in the meantime. Let's go teamwork. That's right. Get out of here, Karamanski. Oh my god, Poland is just wrecking them. No, this is the ally you need versus the Ottomans. This is exactly the ally you need. Let's just go for their capital at this point. And having 100 spy network on the Ottomans really helps. It gives a lot of siege ability versus them. The best thing about this is that we're not losing any cash. Even though we are above our force limit, this is the strength of the gold mine. And yes, we will have another one like this. Okay, we managed to get Constantinople. Now this guy is unseaging. Come here, Poland. Let's go. Let's show these guys Polish power. We can initiate here. That's right. That's right. Maybe take down Pesky Akayun Lutu while we're here. That's it, guys. This should be the last port. I have fought him countless times. He's down to 16,000 soldiers. He's sieging down Constantinople. But we should be able to get Galibolu first and then finish the war because the war score is really good now. Oh, our consort died. So now we have this guy from the estates. He has 3-3-4 stats. That's better than what we had previously, so I'm happy. Hey, screw it. I have pissed out everyone else and he's about to unsiege Constantinople. I didn't manage to siege Galibolu. It's insane. I even have a 2-siege guy in there and yeah. We have 99% war score, so that's it. We're gonna finish the war now. So yeah, I will be taking the five provinces that I need. Also a connection here to Constantinople. Let's grab war reparations and remaining cash that we can take. 11 days. Pro please don't get it in these 11 days. Okay, he didn't. Holy. That was a bit too much of a gamble, but yeah, we got it. Send the months. There we go. And yes, we could, of course, release Bulgaria, release Byzantium, and so on. But I already have three vassals. I don't need more of them, so that's it. We do have permaclaims on these areas that we took. We are getting even more permaclaims through our missions. Moria and Northern Greece now. We can now seize lands. There we go. And yeah, because our consort died and we have this guy from the estates, we cannot declare any wars. But fortunately, just for one year... So once we have this heir, I plan to declare on Ragusa. They're at war with Venice? What? Oh no, come on, bro. I need Ragusa to survive because they're still guaranteed by the Ottomans and I could get into another war instantly. That would be perfect, but let's see if we're lucky enough to have that happen. So it's 1461 April, yeah. About these bronzes, I am going to concentrate a little bit of development. It will be a bit expensive to core this. There we go. Maybe let's even reduce the war exhaustion. I guess what I could have done is gotten a connection to Epirus and took their provinces, but they are allied to Genoa and Papal State. It would be a little bit difficult to get these two provinces. Maybe we can, you know, just wait until they get annexed by Venice or Ottomans anyways. Not that big of a deal. Now this is a quite big deal. Having these fortresses, they're super expensive. So once the devastation goes down, I will reduce them. Probably just leave these two in Gallipoli and Constantinople that is renamed to Tsarigrad. Wait, wait, wait. We can still do it. You know what? Let's grab new loans. These burger loans are absolutely massive at this point. We have a lot of money. We can go and grab Grand Company. Maybe let's also build a tax building here in Belgrade. And yes, this guy succeeded to the throne. There we go. New air is also garbage. I'm just super unlucky. But now we can declare... And we're getting into a war with Ottomans most importantly. Don't care about the province itself. So what I want to do with the Ottomans, of course, I just want to take enough provinces so that I can get a white piece. For the second tier government reform, we can go with Noble Officer Corps. This is granting us additional 10% cavalry cost, which we can combine with our national ideas. So once we get there, we can get actually some cavalry units. Maybe even go for aristocratic ideas to get even more cavalry bonuses. 
that would be a total of 40% cavalry cost reduction, which is not too bad at all. Another thing I am very interested in is getting more Renaissance support. So, Papal State, Constance, Luca, some of these guys, we need to improve relations with them and ask them to share it. Because it is spreading, but very slowly. And so, this turned out pretty well. We got the fort, we occupied every province in the Balkans. He didn't manage to siege down Constantinople. I did actually beat him up a couple of times. And Venice didn't take the province of Herzegovina, which I will be giving back to Bosnia. Let's see, Ottomans. We can take 347 ducats from them. I am fine with that. And yeah, not only we got money, but the truce is gonna be very short, so we can declare again after 6 years. Now, thank you very much for the province to you, Ragusa. And we are done here. Hungary, I see you. Truce expiring after 2 years. Yes, we will go on a rampage versus them. I did try my best to get Papal State to improve relations, but it seems like Nitra, out of all nations, is willing to share knowledge. I mean, thank you so much, my boy. At least the money is actually going towards our own vessel. But yeah, it's gonna take a while. I'm just gonna take level 5 admin. We can unlock our first idea group. Let's go for influence ideas first. Income from vessels, there we go. Yes, sir, yes, sir, we have to take this because our truce with Hungary has expired. Oh my god, Ottomans are joining again. Did they warn me or something? No, they're actually guaranteeing Hungary. Are they out of their minds? What the hell is going on here? I mean, in this case, I don't really want to deal with all of these nations by myself. I will invite my boys, Poland, maybe even Teodoro. I still have that alliance, I will probably break it after the war, but it's just for memes now. And alright, I guess let's fight the Ottomans again. I, I didn't really need to fight Ragusa, but we did take a province, so that's fine. Alright, this time it was a very quick white piece. We have occupied all these lands. My boy Poland did help me once again, so thank you so much for that. Get the hell out of here. And now we can focus the main target. While I hope the Poland will deal with Teutonic Order. Look at that. Are we getting 100 admin points? Yes, we are. Really good events. So, alright. Poland has peaced out. We are left alone here. I just really need to get rid of the Teutonic Order. Oh man, we have exiled units. I think having their capital should be enough. Oh, it's 40 for 40. Wait a second. Maybe occupy a couple of provinces here and we're good. Yep, I'm good with a white piece. And this means since Poland pieced out separately, we can just take all of the cash for ourselves. So yeah, of course, this is not even the Balkans area but we're getting much stronger by taking all of these provinces back to our vassals i'm taking additional provinces just for nice borders and all the remaining cash no collision there we go how beautiful is that man player map mode looks like this we are absolutely ma massive by 1470 second war with poland is awaiting in 1472 not only that but renaissance has already spawned in our capital and it is spreading to adjacent provinces in no time we will be able to take it and get some more technology we'll be getting level six maybe even soon level seven admin so we can have the second idea group and after i finish the third influence idea then i will start annexing my vassals one by one now we can also complete our agenda by simply insulting the ottomans we have enough relations with the mamluks so we unlock this level 2 improved relations guy, which I am gonna take. We also have a 50% off yearly prestige advisor. So I might even upgrade this guy too. Now we could seize lands, but I will wait just a little bit. I want to get my burgers loyalty up to 55%. So once we summon the diet, we have 60% ready. And I'm not sure if I would take the burgers diet. So I don't want to risk. Maybe we will get something very difficult to complete. Hungary have abandoned their lesser union partner, Croatia. Well, I wish, but we cannot really take advantage of this. Don't you love seeing half of Ottoman provinces being occupied by the rebels? What is going on, buddy? They do have 26,000 soldiers. Why are they not fighting these rebels? Or do they just have that many of them? Man, look at these alliances that Venice has. The Knights, Aragon, Genoa, Mantua, Augsburg. I didn't even want to get an alliance with Austria, but at this point, you know what? Give it to me. They are not rivals or enemies, but I think they would still be willing to help me out here. And they do have 40,000. I think it's good. Of course, if we check the region map mode, we still need provinces from Croatia, Venice, the Ottomans, and Epirus. So that we're very, very good on our path, you know. Very good progress, I would say. 
I do have too many relations. I will just go ahead and simply get this meme alliance out of here. Yep, let's go. Let's take like three or four loans. And we can embrace a renaissance now. Perfect. Level 6 admin. Level 6 military. New unit type. And of course we can take the third influence idea. Now we are one of the great powers. In 1471 we have became one. Oh man, it looks so weird. We have basically the same flag with Poland and almost the identical development. Yep, so I was waiting for this 55%. Summon the diet. Just gonna go for whichever option here. And we can complete a law of the PS Emperor, which we could have completed in the first month of the game, but we diff but we went with a different path, and you know what? I I liked it. I think it's a good way to play Serbia by completing this path. Now we can enjoy plus one stability, 20 prestige, so we're up to two stability. And the next mission is to have a workshop in any owned province, which we can, can complete basically anytime. We have level 6 admin, so we can start building a workshop. Let's go ahead and build it in Belgrade. And of course, we can seize lands. We're up to 24% crown lands, which is not too bad at all. After around 5 years, we will have 30% and we will no longer have any debuffs. And in the meantime, I have been just constantly reducing autonomy in the provinces, so it is not even that high. And yeah, basically our truce with the Ottomans has expired last year. I was waiting for that interaction and now we can declare our third, no wait, I think it's our fourth war versus the Ottomans in this game in such a short time span. And now these guys actually allied Karakayunlu. They're that scared of the Mamluks and us. So yeah, Karakayunlu is decently strong. I don't want to go for this war alone. I could do it. I do have a quite large army. But it's a, a hassle. I just want to chill, have a nice time, you know. So let's just call in our boy as always. And this time it's going to be a conquest of Terhala. I do want to take all of the remaining provinces here in the left side. Of By the way, I have started the integration of Nitra before this war. I figured it's best to integrate them first because of the gold mine. So later after the war, I will also start annexing Transylvania and Bosnia. Boom, workshop done. Development cost and production efficiency for 20 years. You know what, let's save this a little bit. I will be using this development cost to develop our second gold mine in Nitra. Lovely, we have finished the annexation. Alright, let's grab this mission. Make this a state. And let's start bumping this up. Now, wait, I still need to convert it. Okay, I will first work on converting it after I finish the last conversion. Beautiful, we can even start our golden era at this point because we have embraced renaissance in all owned provinces. Start it now. And this means we can upgrade our level 7 admin technology, level 7 military technology, and even diplo. For the second idea group, I will be going for aristocratic ideas, as I said previously. And this war is taking a very long time, but I have just conquered one of Karakayunlu provinces. Really, what I can do is just finish the war with them, so we can get a white piece. Sure, let's go for it. 67%. And from this point, we just need to conquer maybe a couple more forts, maybe their capital, and we should be done here. Whoa, Poland separately pieced them and took provinces. This guy. No, that's unexpected. Very long word this one was, but we are finally done. Thousand ducats, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm taking nearly all their Balkan belongings. Right, we are now do done with the mission Pacify the Albanian Lands, permaclaim on Dalmatia area. Alright, so our next target is gonna be Venice. Or maybe even Epirus. Allied, still the same allies, okay. Tier 3 government reform time, I will be going for expanded royal court. I think the reform progress growth is gonna serve as well. Don't really ne need to take additional vassal stuff with representatives of the crown since I am annexing my boys. I am disinheriting the last tier that I had because he's just so bad. Maybe we can get some luck. Right after coring a bit more of provinces, our naval force limit is up to 20, which means we can select our naval doctrine. Of course, I'm going for galley combat ability. Since we will be starting a war versus Venice or Arta, we will definitely need more ships, which I am building. And Venice has 47. That is a large navy. So yes, I'm gonna continue to build and I'm gonna go heavily above my naval force limit. I do want to do this because otherwise we won't be able to get to their capital, which is their most of the development and the biggest war score province. 38% war score in this one province. And yeah, I didn't forget about the gold mine and the development. I have just finished converting it to orthodox. So now I will begin developing. I will first develop with mill points, so then we can expand infrastructure, and this is just a little bit cheaper. 
positive balance, nice to see. These bastards, man. So I was about to attack Hungary because I figured, well, I'm still building some ships and waiting for the war with Venice. It would be easy expansion, you know, not necessarily need these provinces, but we could take a lot of lands. And the month that the truce expired, Poland decided to guarantee their independence. Well, I guess so be it. We won't have these lands for now. I don't really want to fight Poland. They're my ally and I want to keep this alliance. So maybe after Venice, we can actually take these provinces if we want to. Brother... What is this luck? I can't. And this guy is also Stefan. All the heirs have been Stefan or what? This The king is Stefan. And they're all bad. Why are Stefans so bad in EU4? Milan this time. 360. Since this heir has the best stats so far, he deserves a good name. Tupac Shakur, the future leader of Serbia. There we go. And his life is on the line. I want to save him. I want to save him. And we did. Okay. They really tried to assassinate Tupac. Can you believe this? Oh my lord. Bohemia is the HRE emperor. And he has a Habsburg on his throne. Interesting stuff. So this makes Austria much weaker now. Damn boy. Okay boys. So some time has passed now. I have built up a very strong navy. 47 units. 30 galleys. 1 heavy ship. And a black ship. What I also did is a, I got a morale of a navy's advisor. I'm level 7 Diplo technology now, so I should be ahead of Venice. Yep, that's right. And I believe finally we are good to go. So I'm calling in Poland, Austria, of course. Let's go for this conquest of Ragusa. I do plan to take all of the provinces that we need in the Balkans region. So everything from Zara down here into Crete. All right, let's see how it goes. Yeah, he's afraid of my navy, which is good. Okay, now that's not good. When he merged with Genoa, they are much stronger than me. So retreat, boys. Maybe we can also try and get a better admiral. Oh, that's not better. That's not better. At least our army is doing fine. What is going on here? Enforce peace from France. They demand us to make white peace with Venice or else they will join the war. We can't do this. 65,000. Oh, come on. I was preparing for this for so long and they come in with this bullcrap. Okay, guys. So I think I will just finish the video here. I didn't expect this to be so difficult. Like, what the hell? Fra what? They actually expanded so much into Iberia. They're dominating. And look at this England. They're split up. They have Cornwall, Wales and Northumberland released. What happened here? Nah, so we destroy one tyrant and everyone else in the world just goes crazy. They have nearly 1000 development before 1500. And we are finishing with 5th place here. So I don't know guys, if you want to see this run to be continued and for me to achieve the Lazarus achievement, I would say let's get at least 400 likes in the first couple days of the video being released. I know that you guys can do it, so it really depends if you want to see the next video. And yes, yeah, so if I would continue, I would definitely have to fight France, not only because they seem to intervene into my wars, but they also allied Croatia. Like, AI doesn't target the player. That's right. There it is, boys. They definitely don't. Well, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. And I want to say a huge thank you for supporting the channel on Patreon to Voino.